Hello everybody, welcome to my works. Here is Michael Marx. I'm Cambodian and I would like to share life of poverty's grandma no so. She live in the third village and district Saang and in Kandal Providence in Cambodia. Here is Bubut. He works at the charities works and he travel across the countries in Cambodia to help poverty of Cambodia. Here she narrates about the uh, Cambodian, the way to Saang. The trip of Pubut to go to see Grandma Ngo, it hard, it's not easy. You can see this uh, monsoon season and flood all over the place. He had to use his motorcycle with attack and travel to the destination that he got report by the villagers about the light of poverty of Grandma Ngosa. His trip very dangerous. You can see they use all the kind of board and part to across the flood river. And mostly the, a lot of easy for them to travel there, they only use motorcycle. It is a long way for them to travel to Grandma Ngo's house. You can see on the road, it's not easy at all. We got through uh, the monsoon season and flood at the lakes and too dangerous to cross to. Here is Grandma Ngoso. She is 76 years old. To make her living and survive for her old age life, she had to go pick up recycles and she can sell to make the money to three to five thousand real. If it came to be US dollar, about a dollar or a dollar twenty-five cents a day. This is around her house. You can see how poor it is. They built by the tin walls and tin roof. It looked a little strange in the United States, but at Cambodian, all poor Cambodian old people, that's the way they live. How can she? can rebuild her house because she couldn't even earn two dollars a day. Also, she had to raise her grandson, his name is D, and she raised her grandson since he was the baby. But now he is 13 years old. Her life is despair because she has no hope, no benefit, no social security, no medication, no health care plan, no network to helping her for her health.
the environment it look very dirty is not clean or any healthy too. He just live day by day by pick up recycle and sell with a little money less than a dollar. Ba Kang Ka Wengu Kunha means a PM by And she had to send her grandson to school too. But this expense is overload for her income. She had to stop her grandchild, send him go to school. Because she couldn't afford whatever, just a dollar a day to send her grandson to school to spend for his lunch or another need like the backpack, like bicycle, like uniform. She couldn't afford it. When I saw their video, Bubut and Butak went there, so I just sent him to get some detailed stories or histories about her life and her grandson. So, here, I send some money and Putak can take him and her go to see the principal at the school. And then we will talk to principal and they can register this kid, his name D, go back to school. Before they go to school, they have to go to the local store that sells the bicycle. It cost about $125 because the regular bicycle is only $65, but this the mountain bike, it cost about $125. So I send those money to start the life of this boy back to school again. And he's so excited and thank you to whatever who donate and helping him. Here go another store to get some backpack for him. Uh, make sure he got that backpack and go back to school. Have something to put his uh, material for school study. And Puwut pay for that, and he just got there, just pick what he liked, the backpack. And he go to another store that sells the unit form, and let him pick up which unit form it fit for him, and he going to be a ball to go back to school like normal. Here he is ready to go back to school. He skipped the schools about two years ago. And Puwat and Putak wait for him here to see him how he doing at the school. Here the road in front of the school, especially at Cambodian, they didn't have the school bus like in the United States. If people can afford the bicycle for their kid, they will buy and the kid can have the bicycle. It's more easier the way that they go to school and more faster and more convenient. This is the boy, the name D, that I just helped. So he got the mountain bike and he got the back part and then he got the unit form, he just got off school. And Bubert and Putak try to catch up with his activities caught on this video to share to the world. That we already helped him to start up his life, go back to school. 
You can see some students didn't have to buy, had to walk. Our country is poverty, and then we didn't have enough job to have all those parents working and earning. Our country is very poor. We didn't have a lot of jobs available, or even labor job, even factory job. And that's why a lot of kids cannot afford to go to school. They have to quit the school and help the parents to work and earn some income to raise their family. So finally, I can help the cat go back to school and help to support his grandma. About $15 a month, and my sister-in-law support her $15 too. And another, uh, my friend, live at Virginia, support her about $15 too. And friend of mine, his name Lester, he support her for $20. In total, she got about $65 a month. So this can help her a little bit to raise her grandchild, go back to school, and to help her for her daily life instead of to go out there to pick up recycle and sell it and earning less than a dollar a day. If you guys like this video about the grandma life of Norsak, she is 76 years old, please help to share to let the world see. Especially the other way, they probably general people, they feel compassion and kindly heart, they want to help to donate to helping her or sponsor her and her grandson. And they all can see too. If you want to donate or another question, please leave the comment. We will work from there. If you guys want to support my channel, my works, please subscribe and click notification bell to get new video that I upload daily at this channel. Thank you for your kindly support and your watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye, you guys have a wonderful holiday and Happy New Year's.